our hearts. That is a daddy who quickly became a zaddy. Internet sensation Justin Gigliello sang a powerful rendition of the opera classic Ave Maria to his daughter at Disney World. And it went viral. He posted the video to Twitter just a couple of days ago. And I am now joined by Justin himself. He is in Connecticut, the man, the zaddy, the singer. Justin, thank you for being with us. No problem. Thank you for having me. Now, Justin, do you know what a zaddy is? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> a zaddy is a, a hot daddy, and you are that in so many ways. I mean, we've got this guy, this big, strong guy in a football jersey singing opera. It, it's kind of a, a captivating contradiction. Are people shocked when you open your mouth and sing and reveal this amazing voice? People definitely are. When I'm dressed like that, if I'm in a suit and tie, people can kind of see it, but even... Just the way I present myself, um, I'm very sports oriented. Uh, so people are surprised when they hear that come out. And I think that's what adds to the uh, shock and awe. A hundred percent. I mean, I saw this on Twitter and I told our producers, we got to get this guy because I click on it. I see you in a jersey. And Justin, this is how bad I am with sports. I don't even know what team that is. What, what jersey are you wearing? <laughs> that's uh, that's the Seahawks. The Seattle okay. Seahawks. <laughs> So you're there with your daughter at Disneyland, and was it just a spur-of-the-moment thing? She said to you, Daddy, will you sing right now? Completely. Um, we actually we went for lunch at the Grand Floridian, and I was telling her, I said, Lila, as a kid, I always used to come here. We went to the um, Polynesian Resort next door every year as a kid, and I said, we always used to come and listen to the music in the lobby, and um, the pianist would play. There would be music on the second level, and we would just love it. So she said, okay, well, I want to go. I said, all right, so let's go. So we headed over to the lobby, and the pianist was playing. He was actually there in that moment. He's not always there. We got lucky. And he was playing a few pieces, and um, we started dancing and um, just playing around. And then once one of the pieces ended, she went right up to the pianist and said, my daddy loves to play and sing. And he said, oh, what piece? And she said, Ave Maria. So he came over to me and he asked me which version. I told him it was the Franz Schubert version. And then from there, it just happens. No idea it was going to happen. It just did. <laughs> I mean, I, we're just witnessing this obvious uh, natural and, and, you know, cultivated talent that you have that you can just sing like that at the drop of a hat. And by the way, I said Disneyland. Sorry, I'm here in L.A. You are at Disney World. Um, so what is your daughter's name? How old is she? And how often do you sing to her? She's uh, her name is Lila. She's mm -hmm. six years old actually going to be seven years old in a few days um and we sing all the time constantly every day i mean we were cooking dinner last night i was making a pizza and we were just listening to some italian music um then after we did a gymnastic show and she was listening to more music we're constantly playing on the piano opera no matter what it is any uh, type of music so she sings with you she does she loves singing yep Oh, I love it. So you are, what do you do for a living? So I work from home um, for mm -hmm. an inspection company. I also teach voice and piano lessons, and I'm also a volunteer firefighter in my town. Wow, a volunteer firefighter on top of it. I mean, this is serious daddy status, my friend. Uh, so do you sing locally? Do you sing for friends and family? And is, is this a talent that you want to do anything else with? I do. I sing locally. Um, I sing for weddings and funerals. And that's why actually Lila knows the piece because she has come to some weddings. She'll sit in the back with me um, and listen to me sing it. So it's very dear to her. So that's why I know anytime we go anywhere, she always says, Ave Maria, Ave Maria. Um, nothing like this has ever happened, but always at family events and everything, um, always singing. Everyone always asks me, but it's, <laughs> it's um, Doing it, I mean, I would love to do it. I love watching Andrea Bocelli, Josh Groban, Michael Bublé. Um, and I remember one that's very dear to me is um, Andrea Bocelli singing in Portofino uh, a few years ago. And it was right on the water in front of the homes. And it was just a small, intimate crowd. And it was beautiful. And I always said to myself, I'd love to do something like that one day. Record a CD. It would just be amazing. And to see this now, see all the fans I have and everyone's showing me love and support and it's just amazing. I never expected any of this. And I'm truly, truly blessed by all of this. Well, I know we saw Bob Iger, who's the chairman and CEO of Disney. He tweeted back at you and sent you a message. Uh, have you gotten any DMs or any tweets or, or job offers out of it yet? 
<laughs> not yet. Um, who knows what the future brings? My family and I were just taking it a day at a time. I mean, if it happens, we'd love, I, I would definitely go for it 100%. <laughs> Never. I, we'll see. We're taking it a day at a time. And like I said, just the fans. They're, they're the people. I never knew I even had fans besides my family. And now seeing, I mean, I think every platform, it almost has like 15 to 20 million views. It's crazy. Beyond How did you get into <laughs> opera? Because it is kind of a, a lost art. It's not like people just pick up opera these days. Definitely not. Um, I mean, like I said, as a kid, my father always taught me um, about Frank Sinatra, Beatles. So I always grew up singing and my mother actually is the one who found a teacher when I was 15 years old, um, and she was an opera teacher, and that's how it happened. I had no idea really about opera, never listened to any operas, but then I just I fell in love with it. I loved um, performing in front of crowds and having people clap and people listen and really enjoy it. And there's so much art in opera. That's why I like it so much. Just well, Justin, look. In the story. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, you're a handsome guy, but I got to ask, you have to have used the singing to woo the ladies over the years. Has this been a helpful tool for you? I think so. I think that's how I go. <laughs> she doesn't say it, but I think that's how I go. Well, can we ask you to give us a little taste of something right now? If you want to do Ave Maria or something else, just maybe one one line of, of, of a live performance? Sure. Why not? Um, I could do something a little different, I guess. I mean, I know... So many people have seen Ave Maria. Um, what about, let's see, how about some Josh Groban? I'll do um, Broken Vow, it's called. Let's do it. Tell me his name, I want to know. The way he looks and where you go. I need to see his face. I need to understand more than a bro. Oh. oh my gosh, oh my. I just got a personal performance. Thank you. I wish I had a whole audience to clap for you. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, wow. Okay, so you do opera, you do Josh Groban. I'm going to make one last ask of you. I mean, if, when you sing with your daughter, does she make you sing like popular pop songs or any like top 40 hits or anything? We, oh, we definitely do whatever she likes. Um, Can you do an opera version of any song that she loves, even if it's just the chorus line? I'm thinking like Thank You Next or the song we're all obsessed with, Baby Shark. Is there an opera version of Baby Shark out there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I try Baby Shark. I've actually, I mean, I guess anything I do has an opera tone. I mean, I could try it. Um, I, I, I don't know. I've never actually done it. I could try to do it. Um, let me see. I'm just I'm trying to think of the words. <laughs> to Baby Shark, it's just Baby Shark. <laughs> baby Shark, do 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 do. Yes. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby Shark. Mommy Shark, do 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 do. Mommy Shark, do 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 do. Mommy Shark, do 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 do. Mommy Shark. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is there one, is there an op, uh, even a little opera spin on it? I don't know. I'm trying to add to it. I guess <laughs> I'm putting you on the I spot. I would have to really stand up and use my diaphragm and control <laughs> my, I've never done it. <laughs> All right, Justin, thank you so much. We hope you enjoy your new uh, zaddy status. And this is some applause. We're, we're adding in a sound effect for you now. <laughs> thank you, Justin. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being with us. And congrats and good luck on everything. Thank you very much.